Thank you once again for joining us and uh, again a warm welcome to the program. Now, after days of defying orders from the ruling African National Congress to leave office, South Africa's President Jacob Zuma has resigned. His resignation stemming from intense pressure from his own party and on the eve of a no-confidence vote in Parliament. In a television statement late on Wednesday evening, Zuma said he was quitting with immediate effect and that though he disagreed with his own party and that it was... Uh, but explain that he, he disagreed with his own party, and we we'll bring you that uh, clip right now. Spending more on Wednesday morning, he was determined to hold on to power, to ask for explanations, but the pressure finally got the better of him. Jacob Zuma is no longer the president of South Africa. He announced his resignation on Wednesday evening in an address to the nation, bringing a finality to several days of uncertainty, but especially several months of a political crisis that deeply affected his ANC party. His own party members had decided to support a motion of no confidence by the opposition, which parliament was due to consider on Thursday. Zuma resigned after nearly nine months in power and one year to the end of his term of office. He is set to be replaced by his vice president, Cyril Ramaphosa, a key figure in the fall of the controversial president. The Jacob Zuma's authority began to falter since the election of Vice President Cyril Ramaphosa as head of the ANC in December 2017. His campaign majorly focused on the fight against corruption and was determined to push President Zuma out of office as soon as possible. In accordance with the Constitution, Cyril Ramaphosa becomes the acting president of the Republic of South Africa upon the resignation of Jacob Zuma. Parliament must again, within 30 days, formally elect him to this position. The election is expected to be organized by Friday. Without further ado, we speak about this latest news in South Africa with Ntando Nkube, who is a journalist. He joins us now from Johannesburg. Thank you for joining us in the program. It had been a long period of suspense, and even when Jacob Zuma appeared on a TV interview on Wednesday afternoon, he seemed to be refusing to resign, but finally or eventually did so later in the night. What do you make of all this? Uh, basically, I think uh, the president, uh, he made a decision that was quite uh, difficult to him. He was not ready and uh, prepared to to resign. But in conclusion, it shows that the president had to come to, be, to the terms with the condition of the party that had deployed him. It shows that the president had come to respect the decision and the party that he fought for. Although it was difficult for him, he decided to yield to the core of the party. I think it gave him some form of respect, and it also gave the respect to the nation and to the party. It saved himself from some form of embarrassment, the, the so-called uh, humiliation to him and to the party. If he had gone for until tomorrow, where he was going to be called through the parliament. I also believe he had some influence from his friends somewhere, somehow. But he himself, he was not prepared. You could see from his speech during the day that he could not want to to resign. And you could also then see from his speech when he was resigning, he spent much of the time trying to defend himself. He spent much of the time trying to say that I'm not worried about the benefits, but he, I believe he was a bit of a bit of arrogance. It was a bit of for showing the background of where he's coming from, being someone who like a diehard, but at the end of the day, he respected the cause from his party, from fellow politicians, from fellow South Africans, and I believe it was a hard thing. And how about the tense of legal battles he faces, the corruption allegations hovering over him? I think that the court battles, all the allegations that are in the court, they are going to continue. It's a matter of time, they'll be coming one by one. He is going to face the battles. There is no way he could uh, avoid to meet those, those uh, cases that, that are in the court. He is going to continue with the battles. The battles are going to come because these are the court, are the court cases that are already pending. And these are the battles that have been fighting for a long time. His resignation does not give a full stop to the, to the, to the crimes that he has been alleged to be involved in, like the corruption issues, all the cases that have been coming after him for the past 10 years, they are going to, come to follow one by one will be 
seeing them himself in and out of the court. This is not the, to say that by resigning or accepting the call from the party, he is now immune. There is no guarantee of your immunity. And even if this party wanted to give him immunity from the cases that he had, they had no right. Because these are separate things. These are, these are not political crimes. The last question, Tandum Kube. Where does this leave his party, the ANC? They were coming to the chain that they should speak and abide to the call of the party. There were some people who were so close and so radical in supporting the president. Now they are coming to tell that we should unite. I believe from now, the issue here is for the party to unite, and I believe everyone is prepared. I've been listening to the ANC Youth League. Those are the people who have been supporting the president. We have been listening to some politicians, some ministers who are supporting the president. They all came to party and to the terms that they should support the people that that is the president. All of them that believe they are going to have a common goal to rally behind Cyril Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa is going to be the president from tomorrow, as we heard from the deputy general secretary of the party, that this, this is their candidate. So the party, I believe, is not, there is no much of like a conflict that will come in. I believe all the branches and all the elements of the party, they are in one accord, they are in one body, they are supporting what is the what has happened and they are going to support the next candidate coming. Thank you very much.